Welcome back. We were picking, and in my case, mostly eating strawberries a little bit earlier in the morning. We're now visiting the rows of raspberries. However, they're not quite ready yet. Allow me to introduce Francois Pou. He is the owner here at the farm. How are you doing? Pretty good yourself. Good. Uh, nice day for uh, picking strawberry. It's true. It's, it's a nice kind of mild, windy day. I like it. So you can come and pick your own strawberries, right? Yeah, you can come and pick your, your own strawberry or you can pick them already uh, pick uh, because we have them at the uh, the store where you can buy them. Mm -hmm. And are there different variations of strawberries or is it all one kind? We have 13 different types of uh, strawberries at the farm. Uh, we have the early verdes and late verdes and then we got the mid-season that just prolongs the season. Mm -hmm. So when will raspberries be ready to pick and buy? We figure by Friday or next Monday we'll be pretty close to uh, be ready to be picked. Okay. They're starting to ripe but not quite enough for people to come and pick. What's the perfect raspberry look like? I see some sort of ruby red ones here, some of them are lighter. Which one would you go for? has to be a very nice uh, red. If it's orange it's not quite ready because when you're pulling on it it yeah. has to detach fairly easy. It should just fall off. Does this one look ready to you? Yeah, this one is ready. So if you pull on it, you see it comes out really <gasps> Has nicely. anyone eaten one yet? No, you're the first one in the field. Lucky you. Mm, I love raspberries. Oh, so I do good. Too. Tell me about the sweet corn that you've got in your hand. When are vegetables going to be ready to, for purchase? You can see this is a corn plant. Uh, it's just starting to tassel and uh, forming its cobs. So we figure in about two weeks, the corn, the sweet corn that everybody likes should be ready uh, for picking. So you, you said it just started to tassel. What does that mean? Uh, it, it forms a cross on the top. Mm -hmm. And then it, this is what we call the flower. And then you can see like it's dropping. It goes right on the cob itself. And then it forms all the kernel. So you can see all the hair here, it goes to every kernel in the cob. What does it look like right now? Right now I don't think there's nothing formed yet because it just basically came out so mm -hmm. it can, you can open. It's very very tiny and you can see all the hairs are all attached to every single oh, kernel yeah. in the cob. Looks like baby corn. So that's why you need the pollinization of uh, the flower to form the, uh, the, the kernel. So another two weeks you figure? Yeah, we figure another two weeks we should uh, be selling sweet corn. Perfect. And for those who have never been out to Prue Farm, how, how much uh, acreage have you got here? Here at the farm we've got uh, 200 acres and it's um, we have three different seasons uh, on the farm. Like uh, we've got the sugar bush season, the uh, berry picking, vegetable, and then the famous Halloween season that we got in the fall. Yeah, I was saying to Francois, we'll definitely have to come back in the Halloween season and uh, try out your, your spooky haunted corn maze. Yeah. He's trying to uh, convince me to go into the cornfield and I'm suspicious of you. <laughs> I'm so sure you're all of a sudden going to start chasing after me with a machete nah, or something. it's not ready yet, but it's coming. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, so if you head to the Proof Farm website, you can look at all of the different information. But right now, the only thing, if people wanted to come today, the only thing that they can pick is strawberries, right? Yeah, the only thing that's ready right now is the, uh, the strawberry, but the uh, raspberry are coming along fairly, uh, fairly soon. Okay, and uh, the massive play structures are set up for the children as well. So if you come out, you can uh, take the nice little wagon ride down the road, pick your strawberries, come back, enjoy the play structure. And then that shop, which is where we're gonna end our morning, has tons of homemade preserves and maple syrup. So stay with us. We'll show you it all a little bit later. Come see.